Oops. Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition. I got it for PC because I built a PC, so I want to kind of use it. Oh, maybe I should let you guys read it this way. So there you have the top. There you have the back. Arrows indicating which way to, is the top. Okay, let me get the sleeve off. Okay, so I'm gonna throw away that plastic sleeve because I don't usually care for the plastic sleeves anyways. Because I can't really open this with, with that thing on it anyways, so... Don't really need it. Let's see if I can get my camera. There we go, looks a little better. So there you have the front. And the back. You guys can see in the corner. My cat's being nosy. You already saw the side. And the top just has the same vault dweller thing. Nothing on the bottom. Stop it. Okay, to open it, you just pull these back. And it releases the top. And this is where we start having everything. So I'm going to keep this slightly off camera. Oh, let's just slide that over. Da -da 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 -da. Don't you slap me, I slap you. Okay, so first off, we have the steelbook. It has the same front back. Side says Fallout. There you go. And then on the inside, I don't really have to worry about codes. But you got the disc. Take everything off. Little pamphlet for the season pass. Doom, Dishonored 2, and Elder Scrolls Online. And here, we have a poster. This should have come with a regular copy too, if you picked up a regular one. But it's the Pert poster. Ugh. Can't really get a good shot of it. And then, let me show you the inside of the steelbook. the garage. Pretty famous by now. Everyone who's been waiting for Fallout should have been used to seeing this by now. I'm actually going to take out the disc because it goes in my my nuclear bomb that I unboxed a little while ago. Because it's not like you need a disc for PC anyways. Okay, this is a little survival guide. It's not really the strategy guide. It's just a little pamphlet. It has the registration code in the back. And here we have the Pip-Boy operational instructions. Focus. So this has all the instructions to how to actually properly use this. <laughs> Even has suggestions with what to do with it. The, the box. Since you're not going to use or leave your Pip-Boy in there. You can't really see it I guess but. I like the little tablecloth with a radio on it. <laughs> That's if you're feeling fancy. I'm slightly worried because I don't feel like my phone fits in here because I didn't see it on the styrofoam platforms. I have the S6 Edge. I have no, no idea if it's a good phone or a bad phone. I just got it. Not too big on phones. 
We got plastic. And here we have the Pip Boy, which I'll show more of right now. But first, let me just take off the little stand. So you have a stand. Does it have a number? Nope, it's just the Pip Boy Model 3000 MK4. Manufactured by Roboco Industries for distribution by Vault Tech Corp. Not for civilian use. So there's all that. Yeah, you're not going to be able to read that, but that's what it says. And like I said, it's a stand for the Pip Boy. And it goes like that. In case you want to just display it when you're not using it, if you don't use it. And last but not least, let me show you the inside. There's nothing left. There's styrofoam to keep it safe, which you can take out if you want to have room to put stuff in here, which I'm probably going to do because it's a nice box. It's a pretty nice box. It's pretty good. Okay, and now I'll put on the Pip Boy to show you guys some of the features. So give me a second. Okay, so I put it on just to make sure it fits and all, but this latch is what keeps it on. So step by step, first you use this Velcro strip to tighten it, then you close it, it has padding in there so it's kind of comfortable actually, and then you use this, you fold it, well when you put it on there, you fold it and you clip it on. It's that simple, and it's on. I mean, I have to tighten it, but this is just to show you guys. It's on. And then, when you want to put your phone in there, you have to take off the latch. You push down on this, and then you pull this open. Well, if I can do it right. Eh. I kind of need both hands to do this. So I might just take off the thing. So when you want to put your cell phone, you just push down on the button. Right there. It would have been nice if it was spring loaded, but it's not. But you have to kind of pull it open. And here you have the app information, I already have it downloaded. It was up it was up since yesterday, I believe. Or November 9th, from whenever this video is up. And here you just have the display stuff. Because obviously you don't want to leave the phone here. When you're not using it. And here you have the battery. And you have this to activate it. Because it does light up and stuff. Let me show you. So you just pull it, and it lets the battery sit. Then this is the power button, so you have some light effects and stuff. And I believe it should actually interact. No, there's no connection. It would have been nice if it would interact with the knobs and stuff through the settings options and whatnot. But now to test. There's this. Taking out my phone. It looks like I can just sh shove in the phone by itself. And it fits without any cushioning or anything. I don't know if how safe that is, but it works. It's in. Let me show you the options for the paddings. Let me pull the 
this up so you can still hear me. So you have iPhone 5 and 5S use both foam rings. iPhone 6 use an outer foam ring. So iPhone 5, 5S, and iPhone 6. This is for the Galaxy S3 use outer foam ring. iPhone 4 and 4S use both foam rings. So they really made sure that this is good for Apple products. Galaxy S4 use outer foam ring only. Others, oh wait, other smartphones cut foam to fit. So this is saying if your phone doesn't fit, you can try to cut this to make it fit. But mine barely squeezed through without foam, so I'm sure I can't use this. These are just the backs it's for your phone to, to rest on. For the iPhone 6 and Galaxy S5, the iPhone 5, 5S, and Galaxy S4. I'm kind of happy my phone actually fits in there. And there's only a little bit of a struggle to actually take it out. So let me get the app started and I can show you what this lovely baby looks like. So it's just giving us some finesse right now for people who've played the game. It's white because my settings on the PC, I changed the way it looks and I've already connected it. So let me go to offline mode just to demonstrate it. Put the baby in here. Apparently I'm about to die from where I left off. Whoops. That might help. I forgot to adjust it. Because you can't. You have to either choose full screen, which means you're not using a Pip Boy, or you choose. It's loading. Or you choose the Pip Boy, where you adjust the screen to fit this window, otherwise, it's going to get cut off and not fit. So I got to do that right now. I adjusted it. Looks good. For easier displaying, I am not going to put it on. I'm sure you guys don't care about seeing my arms anyways. And there you have it. Functioning, yes, I know. You can barely see because of the glare, but can't really do anything about that. So it's functional. I can click eh. data. So you just click stuff, and from the game, it will actually affect it, like that, like that quick. Like you be having a conversation, and at the same time, you can just equip stuff ready so you can betray this person and shoot them in the face when they're done talking, when you're done with their quest. So it's actually really nice, and it has some full animations. You should be able to see that that's at least moving. So it's the full animations from the game. It's nothing pretty much cut off. Even the sound effects. So it's a full package. It's it's a great little thing, little addition. And to turn it off, the lights and stuff, you just press the power button. But yeah, other than that, the knobs don't do anything. Well, cosmetically it does like just turning stuff and turning wheels and stuff. But yeah, that is the Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. I know this probably dragged on. You guys probably seen shorter videos, but I'm just doing this for fun. I just wanted people to see this. This is just my, me unboxing something I really love. So if you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like it, it's your opinion, so go ahead and leave a thumbs down. It's your choice. You're free to make a decision, so go for it. But that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys next time.